Can you describe what a desync is? I've seen people wreck because of it, but what am, I, what am I accidentally doing right to avoid it from happening? Okay, here's what a desync is in reality. And I wanna, I wanna say that a lot of the times when people say, oh, I had a desync, they, 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 they didn't have a desync. They had some, they, they had a symptom that is similar to what might have happened if you had a desync. And so then they, they just blame it and they call it a desync. If you've got an ESC and it's driving a brushless motor, there's a process called commutation. And the commutation process, let me actually pull up an animation. So there's a process called commutation. And in this brushless motor, so this, well, this motor is a little different because it's an in-runner, not an out-runner. But it's okay. The principle is the same. We have these stator poles, and they're wrapped with wire. And when current flows through the wire, they become magnetized. Okay? And there are three poles. Okay? And what's going to happen is that the, the ESC is going to push current into the wire to magnetize the poles in a sequence. And do you see that we've got these permanent magnets here, positive and negative? And by selectively magnetizing the poles, we can continue pulling and pushing the shaft in a circle. But we have to do the commutation exactly right, so that at this point in time, one of these poles is pulling on the permanent magnet, one is pushing it. And then as, it, as the uh, stator rotates, or as the shaft rotates, we reverse the current and we, move the, the, which, we change which pole is uh, being energized, so that we continue to sort of pull it in a circle. The analogy I, I like to make is, if you think about those like merry-go-rounds, like at a children's playground, where you grab the merry-go-round and you like you pull it and you whip it and it starts spinning and it's spinning in a circle and you catch it and you grab it and you whip it again, right? Right. You have to stick your arm out. You have to grab that pole just as it approaches you and then you have to whip it by. If you were to just stick your arm out and lock out your arm, the merry-go-round would hit your arm and you'd break your wrist or break your elbow, right? Okay. Or if you were to reach out and whip your arm, but you didn't grab the pole because you didn't time it right, you would just go, and nothing would happen, okay? So in order to make a brushless motor spin, a very precise and very, it's not complicated, but the timing has to be exactly right, that as the motor rotates, which of the phases of the motor is energized in what way needs to be managed with very, very precise timing. And that's like, the, that's like what an ESC does. That's all an ESC does, is manipulate that timing to make the motor spin faster or slower. So a desync happens when the timing of the ESC's commutation is incorrect, and the ESC energizes the motor in the wrong way, such that instead of pulling on the magnet, it pushes on the magnet, and the motor, well, it loses synchronization. And then the ESC can no longer correctly commutate the motor, and the motor stops spinning, and then your quadcopter falls out of the air. Now, what could cause a desync to happen? Well, that, that's a deep topic, and I'm not even sure I would do a good job causing it. A lot of times it's damage to the motor. Or like one of the things that can cause a desync uh, is if you have like an ultra high KV motor. So the motor is spinning at this ridiculously high RPM. And the ESC commutation just kind of can't keep up. And the ESC timing gets off. Another thing that can happen is if the motor it, it changes speed too quickly and it gets out of sync with the ESC. And a lot of times there's just da it's damage to the ESC or damage to the motor that causes a desync. But here's the thing that people get wrong about desyncs. Any time a quadcopter just goes and falls out of the air, people go, ah, you had a desync. And that's not right. Right? Because like, yeah, technically I guess you lost synchronization. But like if you smoked your motor because you drew too much current, you, you smoked the windings and it fell out of the air because you burned the motor, technically, yes, you lost synchronization, but that's not like a desync in the classical sense. You have, you have, you have a smoked motor.
So um, there's lots of things that can cause your quadcopter to fall out of the air, and people always want to call it a desync. But a desync is a specific miscommunication between the ESC and the motor, in my opinion. And so not everything that causes your quad to fall out of the air is a desync. Why are you not having desyncs? Was the second part of your question. You guys didn't see the anim did you see the animation at all? Blunty, did I switch to the screen? Showing the did I just I talk? Saw it. Oh, I did. So I switched back. I forgot that I had switched back because I looked over and it was on my face. And I was like, uh, did they see the animation? If you saw if you saw it, they saw it. Okay, good. Um, wh why are you not getting desyncs? Your, your equipment is working as designed. Desyncs shouldn't happen. So you have the correct motors. They're not damaged. You have the correct ESC. It's not damaged. There you go. Good for you. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't have a better answer than that. Can the ESC recover from a desync in the air? Yeah, so what happens when the desync occurs is that the ESC will enter a process called blind commutation. And again, this is really on the edge of what I actually know how to talk about. So I think you should know that I'm kind of like making some of this up. But blind commutation, in, normally what the ESC does is it is listening to, it, it can sense the position of the magnets relative to the stator, and it uses that to do its timing. And when a desync happens, it's not able to do that, and so it does what's called blind commutation, where it tries to commutate the motor without knowing the motor's position, and tries to kind of sync back up again, right? And uh, if, if it succeeds at that, then you'll just get a ooh, little stutter, and then you'll keep flying. But if it fails at that, then you'll death roll. 